It's starting to look fairly clear that there will be a major snowstorm likely by this weekend, but for right now we're watching a clipper system that will swing across the northeast, very light snow accumulations. Then focus turns back towards the west. We'll really start to see things brewing. First, this one storm system coming east that's going to drop maybe an inch or two in spots. That'll be the appetizer ahead of the main storm. Where is the main storm? Well, it's going to be brewing back across the Rocky Mountains, and it's really going to get its act together once it gets towards the Oklahoma Panhandle and then eventually up the Ohio Valley. So this is the overall track, the impacts of what we're looking like with this storm. It is going to really start snowing as we go across portions of the Midwest into the upper Tennessee Valley. And then the main impacts with potentially significant snowfall from around Ohio, Pennsylvania, and then up into the Northeast, Burlington, Syracuse, Boston, up into Bangor as it looks right now. Now this is still a little bit subject to change, but there's been pretty good consistency with the models. Let's take a look at one of those right now. Here's your snowstorm, strong low pressure system pushing off towards the east. Warm air, lots of moisture off the Gulf Coast. Cold air coming down from Canada. This is what you get, a great phased system, very organized. Look at that right there. That is a major snowstorm with a corridor of six to 12 plus inches, very likely. It'll slide up the Northeast. That's a lot of snow there up into New England. Then very cold air. We're talking Arctic blast, lake effect snow, and maybe even another system swinging in by the time we look at early next Tuesday. So it's gonna be a lot more active. It's gonna be a lot colder. Very good confidence on that overall. But this does look to be a significant snowstorm. There's pretty good confidence at this point, and it's not only gonna bring a lot of snow, it could bring a lot of wind too. These are major wind gusts, blizzard-like conditions possible as these winds just a few thousand feet above the surface will likely mix down and create a good amount of blowing and drifting possible. So we could really see a little bit of everything with this coming storm. We're gonna keep our eyes on it. We're gonna provide many updates. And if you're a snow contractor that wants those specific detailed updates for your location, you know where to go, NeoWeather.